In Game of Thrones, when Arya and Pot Pie are hanging out, he tells her that the secret to his pot pies are that he just browns the butter before adding it to the dough, because it takes too much time for most people to do that. So I give it a try, and I try to see if there's any way to tell the difference. My name is Paul Tran, and this is Paul Tran Baker Man. To brown the butter, I'm going to start off by just slowly heating the butter over medium low and just kind of swirling it as it's melted until it turns to a nice caramely brown color. This will take about five minutes or so. This aroma is fantastic. It's nutty, it's caramely, and let's see. It is a beautiful shade of brown. So that is some brown butter there. Yeah. The sugars in it have caramelized and then the milk fats are still there. Because pie crust needs cold butter to get those really nice big chunks of flakes, I'm going to actually put this into the freezer for a little bit. I set the oven to preheat at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius or gas mark 6, and I'm going to make the chicken pot pie filling. It's going to be hearty with a lot of like chicken and some vegetables, and so I'm going to make the cream and mushroom soup by scratch. Here we go. So this is a cream based filling, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first melt the butter to make a cream of mushroom soup. The butter has completely melted. First thing I'm going to add are some shiitake mushroom. I don't have any onions to throw in there, so I'm going to throw in some, fre some <laughs> fresh onion powder. I'm going to add some garlic. Some salt, pepper, keep it stirring so nothing burns. And now I'm going to add in flour. It's a couple tablespoons of flour. This is going to thicken up and we'll let the heat cook that down. And it's not going to taste so much like flour anymore. This creates the thickener for the soup. I'm adding half cream, half milk. At this point, I'm going to add some fish sauce. Adds a little complexity of flavor and umami. Yeah, you can see that it's starting to thicken up just nicely. There's some frozen peas and carrots and some roasted shredded chicken. It has the right amount of salt. It's got some good color in there from the vegetables. It's full of really chunky chicken and it's beautifully thick. I think this is going to be a great filling. When you brown butter, you're cooking the milk sugars in the milk fat. And so you can see little speckles where like just all the little like proteins and fats started to carm like especially the sugars started to caramelize and you have little speckles. Conversely, in a regular dough that I made just for pie dough, see mer for <laughs> just regular, um, you don't have all that speckling. You just have like chunks of butter, and this has chunks of butter also, but caramelized and ideally aromatic. <laughs> milk butters. So I'm going to do both and fill both with pot pie and see which is better because you know, science. 
flour with my rolling pin, and I'm ready to go. This is gonna be my lid for my pot pie. inside. I'm just going to tamp it down a little bit, gently pulling the dough from the outside in, trying not to stretch it. I have my filling. It smells so good, y'all. All ready before I even baked it off. Now put the lid in. And then I want to fold it over. Just so things don't go crazy when I bake it, I'm going to cut to relieve some of the pressure. So for this one, the butter one, X marks the spot. And for the regular flaky dough, parallel lines. So I'm going to pop this in the oven and leave it there for about uh, check on it about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes to see if it's cooked enough. So. These are two pot pies with two different kinds of crust. Which ones do you like better? Which one do you like better? Is it gonna burn your tongue like pot pies do? I hope not. I mean, it is warm. But it's been sitting out of the oven for a little while at least. You took a giant bite. <laughs> good. Yeah? Awesome. See the steam coming off of that. <laughs> I think I like this one just a little bit better. I agree with you. The non brown butter one tastes better to me. Hmm. Sorry, Hot Pie. I have to go for my, my usual recipe. But at least I have been able to show y'all how to make a brown butter crust for your pies. Let me know if there's any other like TV show foods that I should be recreating because I've actually been forming a list of things I'm going to get to eventually. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. There you go. It is really good though. I made this one for my dinner. Yeah. That was just better. <laughs>